friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Dahlia and I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day. So as you can tell by the title of the video, we're working on another speed build on Moonlit today. More specifically, we're working on one of the last speed builds. We're decorating my house exterior for the second time because I've already done this before. Um, but we're redoing it. So yeah. If you guys liked today's video, please let me know what you think in the comments below and by liking the video. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. We'd love to have you join the little community that we're growing here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get started with the build. I moved my house so I can have a better idea of where everything is. And um, we're now going to move it back. I think I know where I wanted to put it. Um, hopefully I don't change my mind because uh, it would be really annoying to have to move it over. But I think where I put it is nice. So we're going to be decorating this area by the peninsula, the beach, and the rock area over here. So let's get started. We're going to be starting off with some pathing. No terraforming is done in the build today, thank god, because I hate terraforming. So we're going to be doing some, just some pathing. I'm going to be using both the dirt path as well as the daisy path that I have. I do speed through it so you guys don't have to watch me struggle to put pathing down. So um, yeah, I just put down the dirt path leading up to the house and then I'll be using the daisy path from the little bridge to the left up to the house too. And if you guys can see, I have a little rock garden thing that's kind of started to form completely on its own, weirdly enough. So I think I might try to do a rock garden. Um, rock gardens are really hard and I'm not very good <laughs> at doing them. Um, so we're going to try. That might be an upcoming video. We will see how badly I do that. So yeah, that's the, the little shape I did for the dirt path and now I'm going to move on to the daisy path. I love combining my pathing. I don't like using one or the other in a space because I think they look good together and I think using more than one pathing makes the space more interesting and I feel like if I put a rock garden to the left side here um, it'll go really well with the daisy path because it's very like you know like woodsy, not woodsy, but like garden-y. So I'm keeping the area to the left a little bit more natural and then the area to the right more like the dirt. Y you know what I mean. So as you guys can tell, I have started off this video with a little bit more talking. Um, I heard your feedback in my last few videos and you guys actually like my chatty uh, speed builds. So I will continuing be continuing to like talk during a lot of my speed builds because I like talking to you guys and also it's kind of fun to kind of talk about like my process of like what I have in mind for, for builds and areas but let me know if you prefer some mixture of like half music, half chatty, more chatty and less music or more music and more chatty. It seems like the majority of you like the chatty so We'll stick with the chatty for for today. Um, I'm feeling quite chipper and, um, you know, I like talking. So we're going to do a little bit more talking in this video today. Um, but yeah, going back to what the video, what's happening here. So on the little peninsula, I decided to put some trees. Um, I originally was going to put a little seating area, which you will see me actually putting on the beach later on. I was originally going to put it on the peninsula right in the middle among the trees, but I really just didn't have enough space, so I just moved on from that. And then I did jump forward a day to kind of like let things move, um, grow in a little bit and to move my house over. And then over here, we're going to start decorating on the rocks. I decided to do a little laundry area. No surprise, I love my laundry areas. And I wanted there to be a really big laundry area for myself next to my house. So I thought this little rock area would be absolutely perfect for it. So I was first just putting down some pathing. I decided to go with this lace rug, which is one of my favorite lace rugs. And all of the pathing and codes that I use will of course be in my description among with the creator codes and everything. And of course Eric is, he, he, he sat down there for a while and got in the way of decorating, but let him enjoy his lollipop and we'll just try to build around him for the time being. 
I decided I wanted to do that layered um, rug trick where you put two rugs next to each other and kind of layer them up with one another. So I'm just kind of struggling to see how to do it. I did tweak it a little bit before settling on this and then I started placing some items down. I kept the laundry area very basic and simple. Um, I put some um, barrels which are some of my favorite items to decorate in game because they're so versatile and then I did some clotheslines and a few other items you guys will see me positioning later on. As I had said in my last two videos, which were both beach style speed builds, it is really challenging to build on beaches, but also a lot of fun because you really can't manipulate the space. So it was a lot of fun trying to see how I can build up the space without being able to terraform and manipulate it. And I do screw up and repeatedly get rid of the lace design as I was just trying to move the clothesline the opposite way. So I finally got it the way that I wanted to and I had customized both the clothing um, lines in like just random design codes that I had. I thought the colors just worked with the color scheme and then I decided to put this drying rack in my favorite color way which is kind of like this off beige color on the edge over here and then I put an old-fashioned wash tub. One thing I desperately wish we could do is um, customize the wash tub. I just I wish there was other colors like we could change the color of the thing inside of it. I don't know. I was really hoping Eric would have moved by this point, but unfortunately he has decided that he's just going to be there for the foreseeable future. So I decided to sit down with him for a couple of minutes. And then, because we haven't done it in a few videos, I decided to give you guys your daily dose of serotonin today featuring Eric. So enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed that daily dose of serotonin. <laughs> Eric is so cute. So we went back to the terraforming and I decided to put this little picnic blanket down on the beach. And this is where I decided to place my little seating area. I felt like it was a little bit better to have the seating area a little bit closer to my house so that it kind of fit in with like the actual build as opposed to it being too far away. So I decided to go with the log round table in the white color and I put a bunch of different chairs and items down on top of it and as I was in the middle of decorating I noticed that Eric and Poppy were talking so of course we had to just quickly stop and talk to them. They're talking about food, which <laughs> honestly, if you have a lazy in the conversation, you're probably gonna get a conversation about food, which is totally fine. They're so cute, oh my gosh. <laughs> Poor Poppy, no one appreciates our culinary arts. And Eric went back to sitting down, of course. So I decided to mix and match the chairs. I decided to go with a wooden stool. I think I used a turkey day chair and then the piano bench. I think the piano bench has become one of my favorite seating items in the game because I like how there's so many different colors. And I went with the kind of like natural wood color with the green. Um, obviously I'm keeping the color scheme very green and white and brown, very natural. And as I was putting items down, Poppy was trying to get in the way. Please, please move, Poppy. I love you, but... So I put down the uh, serving cart and then some sh cream and sugar. Pretty basic. Kind of looks similar to a couple of other little areas I've put on my island so far, but... You know, you use different items, use various different items to make the areas work. And then I put a mum's cake and a couple of other items to just kind of complete the area. I think it's actually really, really cute. 
So because I wasn't doing a little scenic area behind the trees on the peninsula, I decided to do a little mini lavender garden, which I know I already have two lavender gardens on my island, but I love the purple hyacinths and I don't go with my like color scheme on this island, so I try using them wherever I can. So yeah, that's what I did. I just did a little garden. I used the dark and the light brown dirt and then just mix them up in like this checkered pattern, which I think looks so cute. I actually really like doing this. It's kind of cool to like, kind of like do them like not fully in one row. It kind of gives like a little bit more dimension and like interest to the space. So I quite like it. And then I also used this lavender basket that I used in Diana's Lavender Garden Speed Build. I decided to go with the dark brown one. I have it in both dark and light brown. Like dark brown and then a, a white basket. So I used the dark brown because it went with the dirt color. And then I decided to put down some country fencing. Because country fencing is like my favorite, favorite fencing in game. It just looks so good. And I love that you can put the fencing on like the end cornered kind of like cut off the space I don't know I just like the way that it that it sits and then after doing that I started decorating a little garden area I decided to put down another barrel I believe and then I also had a hand cart so I was just kind of experimenting with the space and seeing what I can put down there but there's only so many garden items in games so it's nothing, nothing different than what I typically do. And then Eric had finally left the space. I was just kind of finishing off the laundry area. I decided to use these laundry baskets that I used in my Able Sisters build because I already had them in my like design slots. And I decided to use an automatic washer, which is like kind of random, but like I've seen other people use the automatic washers in their little laundry areas, but I think it looks so cute. This colorway in particular just like matches the overall space with like the white and the yellow. So yeah, I went with that and then I just put this little flimsy watering can because I love the little flimsy watering cans. They're so cute. Look, they're so tiny. And then I started decorating with tons of flowers. I do skip over quite a bit of this because I didn't want this whole build to just be me putting down flowers, but I do like fill in every available space with a variety of white and yellow flowers and then I will be going back in and filling it with some green mums which I like doing after like just randomly throwing down flowers in like random orders without any like specific direction in mind. I think it's the best way to get the most natural layout of flowers so it's kind of like mix match and then after they grow in you can kind of like just move them around so they don't like end up beside like the same colorway or the same flower and I use Cosmos, Hyacinths, and Mums. This is sort of random but I just had dinner. I had a late dinner today and I had Taco Bell for the first time in probably like over 10 years. Oh my god, it was so good, but I am so full right now, I, I can't even begin to, to explain how, how full I am, but it was so good. And if you have made it this far into the video, please let me know what your favorite thing to get from Taco Bell is, or do you even like Taco Bell? And if you do, yeah, let me know what your favorite um, food item is. I think the Beef Chalupa Supreme has become one of my favorites because that's what I had tonight and it was really, really good. So then I just quickly went back into my house and grabbed a couple of new items that I needed and I cust or crafted a few green leaf piles which you know green leaf piles my absolute favorite item in game and then I just quickly put some down and then started working on like the end of the peninsula and originally I was going to do a lighthouse here because I don't really have a lot of lighthouses on my island I only have a few. But I decided I wanted another seating area because I mainly I really wanted to use the hay bed in the green color and I felt like putting like a cute little rocking chair here which I already had in my inventory as like a possible um, chair for like the little seating area. 
Um, so I thought like with the little little rocking chair and like a stack of books, like this little area looks so cute. I don't know. I thought that I thought it. I don't know. I love it. I just think it's so adorable. Imagine sitting here on like a spring day and like reading a book or whatever. I don't know. And then to kind of like just finish the area up, I put a garden wagon and I was trying to decide what area, like what like order I should put it in. I don't know if it should be like on the edge. So it kind of like blocks like the edge of the cliff or if I should have it facing like horizontally. So I went with this. I don't, I don't know. Is that too much horizontal? Like maybe I should move it the other way. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I, I don't know. I'm someone deciding when it comes to like placement of items. I don't know. And then I was just putting down some more flowers and weeds. I had actually put down a bunch of flowers and then I had to go back and put some weeds in because I completely forgot about weeds, which is weird because I always, I always decorate with weeds, but yeah, I was just putting down some, down some items and then I put down just one little, um, the wooden plank design, like the little I don't know, to give you like, hey, go this way and here's a seating area you can sit down in. I don't know. The the it's not as if like there's like a, a pathway to follow to really lead over here. You kinda have to go through the garden, but I still think the little wooden planks look super cute. And then I just finished up the area with a few more flowers and I was trying to make sure I didn't use the same flowers in the same area over and over again. So yeah. And then last thing I had to decorate was this little area next to my house. It was really awkward and small, so I decided why not put like a little garden shed. And if you've seen um, my previous video for Dobie's house, I did already have a garden shed um, design already saved, which I love. But I decided to go with a different color, so I downloaded this two two code one that's like really small and tiny and the color goes perfectly with the colorway of my house it's kind of like a natural brown color and I don't know I think it looks really cute it's very small and just like works with the area so I just put two random um, plant items down I think I used a cat grass and a moss ball and then I do go back I promise and put the cutout standees in the back so you don't see the back of the, the area um, because I know a lot of people are like, why don't you cover that back area up? So I promise I do go back and fix it, um, but that requires some adjusting that I just quickly do off camera. And I decided because this little area here kind of like transitions to my house that I wanted to use a destination signpost. So I spent about a good five minutes trying to get this destination signpost to go in the area to the point where I actually, you know, like planted it in the ground instead so I just kind of manipulated and moved some things around to get it to fit because this is not a one tile item because it sticks up from the top so it's like one and a half or two tiles so I kind of just moved some things around and then yeah I think it looks super cute and goes with the with the area really well I tried to replant this green mum and it wasn't letting me I don't know why you can't plant things next to the destination signpost. It's really annoying. <laughs> so I just put it here next to the garden fence because, yeah, I just really wanted it to be there. And then a couple of last minute touches, I did move that tree that was kind of further down before um, and then planted this monstera right next to my house where the little um, barrel is. And then I put a mountain bike, and that's why I moved the tree, so that I can put the mountain bike there, because I love little mountain bikes. I don't know, I think it looks so cute. And then I found this lost item in the middle of the build, and I quickly just put it on the barrel. And we're officially finished with the build, so let's check it out. This is the final build. Everything is grown in. This little peninsula area looks so cute. I wish I could have planted more trees, but you know, I worked with the space that I had. And I think this area here on the beach looks adorable. I don't know, it just looks super cute. I would love to sit here on a summer or spring day and have some cake and some tea. And this little 
laundry area is perfect. I love it so much. I think it looks so, so, so cute. I could think of a couple more things I'd add there, but I'll just quickly add those um, another time. And I'm just, I'm so happy with the way that this build turned out. All right, that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please let me know what you think in the comments down below and by liking the video. It means so, so, so much to me to hear from you guys. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you join the little community that we are growing here on YouTube. I appreciate every single person who's ever subscribed to my channel. Thank you so, so, so much. It means the world to me. So that is everything for today. I hope you guys all have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.